Hi, I'm Les Lutz, Director of Horticulture at Heritage Museums and Gardens. And I'm Allie Mulrow, Manager of Visitor Experience at Heritage Museums and Gardens, located in Historic Sandwich on Cape Cod. One of the things that makes Heritage so unique is our renowned collection of rhododendrons brought here by Charles Owen Dexter, which you're going to be learning a little bit about today. Hi there, today we're going to be talking about pests and disease on your rhododendrons. Um, so less. I have a lot of rhododendrons in my yard. I know Heritage has tens of thousands of rhododendrons as well. Uh, what's the number one thing that we can do to keep them healthy? Well, keep them stress-free. Just like people, these things like to be stress-free. So um, keep the plant well watered, keep it mulched. Ideally, think about where it grows in nature, under a tree, somewhere shady. Uh, not Typically, you wouldn't find these growing in nature on the front lawn of a house. Uh, that's a stressful environment for a plant like this. All right, so once I figured out how to keep my plant stress-free, I'm watering it enough, um, but sometimes in my yard, I still find some weird stuff on my rhododendrons. So I wanna ask you mm -hmm. a couple questions about that. Like, um, I see on this one, there is definitely some leaf spotting that is occurring. Um, yep. What is this about? Okay, well, the leaf spotting usually isn't a big deal. Uh, it's not very attractive. Uh, it is a bacterial disease, and it's pretty common um, to see that. And you can, of course, see it on quite a few of these leaves here on this plant. Um, stress is the number one reason why this is here. So, as I mentioned a minute ago, keep the plant well watered and mulched. The other thing to do um, is hygiene. When the leaves drop, clean them up, because if you leave these leaves on the ground, they have bacteria on them, and that bacteria will again migrate back up onto the plant. So you want to get rid of them, and that'll help to keep it from perpetuating from season to season. So I really need to do some raking is what you're yeah. telling me. Yeah. Um, all right, so I know how to then solve for the spots that are on my leaves, but what about like all of these little holes that keep appearing? Looks like something munched on it. Sure. Um, these are probably a weevil. Uh, usually, again, these are not something that are going to kill the plant. Uh, there aren't many plants or animals or insects that like to eat rhododendrons. They're actually poisonous to a lot of animals. Um, but it, there are some insects that will eat them. Uh, these are probably weevils. These live in the ground, they come up at night, they eat the plant, and then they go back in the morning. So unless you're out here at 3 a.m. with a flashlight, you're never going to see them. Um, Is there something I should do to stop that? You know, unless you have a lot of leaf damage, I would just ignore them. Uh, you can treat the soil with an insecticide and that will kill them. Um, but then you're also killing a lot of other beneficial things too. So probably just let them do their thing. Yeah, it's the best I thing would. for weevils. Um, all right, well, these leaves, you're saying it's not going to kill the plant, but what about <laughs> something like this, like this when my rhododendron starts to curl? Sure. Uh, well, I can tell you, if you see a plant that looks like this, you should probably get the chainsaw um, because it is definitely not going to come back. I don't care how much water or shade or mulch uh, this plant is dead. Out. It's totally stressed out. Uh, this was probably a fungal disease that attacked this plant. Um, in this case, it was most likely a soil-borne fungus, uh, something like Phytophthora. Um, and unless you send it away and have it tested, you won't know for sure. Um, in the case where this entire plant is dead, uh, there's not much you can do other than, like I say, cut it off, chainsaw, pruners, whatever, and never plant a rhododendron back in this spot because the soil has Phytophthora uh, in it and that will kill the plant. Okay. Uh, any other rhododendron that you put in the ground. Um, you will also at times see one branch die like this. Mm -hmm. The leaves will curl and start hanging vertically like this. If you do, then it is also a fungal disease and it travels down through the stem. So what you want to do is cut down the stem until the wood inside is nice and green or white. If it is brown, then the fungus is still there. Um, that's another way I can tell this is a, a root fungus because the stem is white. So uh, this would be brown if it were a stem-borne fungal problem. So whenever you're pruning your plant, if it's 
a stem problem like this, then, as I said, you can cut this back and eventually um, save the plant by cutting that section off. But between each cut, you want to spray the pruners with alcohol so that they're sterilized. And then you would cut farther down the stem until the stem is clean, spraying the pruners between every single cut so that you don't transmit any disease that's in the stem into the plant. That makes sense. And Les, is there a special type of alcohol that I should be using? I usually use isopropyl alcohol, which is at least 70% okay. alcohol. That's going to sterilize everything? Yep, that'll sterilize. So I've cut out a lot of the diseased area for my plant. I can treat for bacteria. I can treat for weevils if I really want to. Um, are there any other diseases or pests that I should be aware of? Well, not really. They're relatively easy to grow. Uh, as I said, culture is the biggest factor with rhododendrons. Keep them watered, keep them mulched, keep them in shade if possible. Uh, and then if you do see dieback, cut the dieback out. Awesome. Well, thank you for all those really great pests and disease tips for us today. Thanks for joining Les and I today to learn a little bit more about our rhododendron collection at Heritage Museums and Gardens. To learn a little bit more, please follow us on Facebook or check out our website at heritagemuseums.org. Happy gardening.